Regular checks can help you spot issues like high CPU or disk usage, which may cause your PC to slow down or crash. Performance checks allows you to resolve them before they lead to significant problems. Here's a simple guide on how to check PC performance. Open Task Manager. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape on your keyboard simultaneously. This shortcut directly opens the Task Manager. Once the Task Manager opens, navigate to the Performance tab at the top. The Performance tab provides a graphical overview of your system's resources. On the CPU tab, the graph shows real-time usage of your CPU. Utilization percentage indicates the percentage of your CPU's current usage. High numbers close to 100% could indicate heavy workloads. Speed indicates the current operating frequency. Calls or threats indicates information about your processor's architecture. Uptime shows how long the PC has been running without a restart. On the memory tab, the graph shows how much RAM is being used and how much is available. Used memory shows the amount of RAM currently in use. Available memory indicates RAM that is free and can be allocated to processes. Speed basically shows the RAM speed. Form factor indicates the hardware type. A memory usage close to maximum indicates a need to close some apps or add more RAM. On the desk tab, the graph displays the read or write activity of your disk drives. Active time measures how busy your disk is. Read or write speed displays the amount of data being read or written in megabytes or kilobytes. A disk usage stuck at 100% could signify a problem with a drive or background processes like indexing. On the network tab, the graph provides a real-time monitoring of your network adapter's activity. Send or read speeds or display upload and download speeds in megabytes or kilobytes. Adapter name identifies the active network interface, which could be Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Network spikes may point to large downloads, updates, or a potential unauthorized process. Go to the process tab to identify resource-heavy programs. You can sort by CPU usage to see which applications are using the most processing power. You can also sort by memory to identify applications consuming significant RAM. Here, you can also spot processes causing high disk activity. On the network column, you can check which applications are using the most bandwidth. Now, let's go to the performance tab and click on the three dots to open resource monitor. The resource monitor has four primary tabs for detailed monitoring, which is the CPU, memory, disk and network. Each provides real-time graphs and tables for analysis. On the CPU tab, it shows CPU usage for all calls. Here you'll be able to identify CPU usage and threats. Sorting by CPU, you'll be able to see the processes that are consuming the most processing power. You can look for processes that are using unusual high CPU resources. The status column shows services running in the background and their CPU usage. You can use the threads column to identify processes with many active threads, which might indicate heavy workloads. If you want to stop a process, you can right click it and select end process and confirm the prompt. On the memory tab, the graph will display real time memory usage. To also provide a list of the commit size and working set. Sorting by working set will enable you to see applications that are consuming the most RAM. On the next tab, the graph will display disk queue length and active disk operations. The columns will include read and write for monitoring data flow. Look for processes with large read or write activities to identify disk heavy applications. On the network tab, the columns will include the send and receive activity over the network. It will also provide details of all active TCP connections, including local address and remote addresses. Here, you can identify applications consuming high bandwidth. Open Performance Monitor. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the RAM dialog box. Type P-E-R-F-M-O-N and hit Enter. This launches the Performance Monitor tool. The Performance Monitor provides a detailed breakdown of your system's performance. In the left-hand panel, click on Performance Monitor under Monitoring Tools. You'll see a real-time graph tracking performance metrics. Click the Add button at the top of the graph to add specific performance counters. Choose from categories like processor, memory, disk, or network. Here, you'll be able to narrow down and choose the specific performance data you want to access from your computer. Select the metrics and click add.
click OK to apply the changes. You will see the counter added to the graph. To customize the graph, right click on the graph and choose properties. In order to adjust colors, scale, and time intervals for easy analysis, click OK to apply the changes. Now let's create performance logs. Expand data collector sets and right click user defined. Select new data collector set. Provide a name for your custom set. An example is memory and disk usage. Choose the type of data to collect. System diagnostics captures detailed data about hardware and system events. System performance focuses on system responsiveness and resources. Select the data to collect and click next. Click next on the default location to save the data. Select start the data collection right now and click finish. The newly created data collector set will start. To analyze real time and logged data, Access Detailed Performance Logs under the Report section for post-session analysis. Select User Defined. Open the folder we created initially, then double-click the captured data. The System Performance Report provides snapshots of the computer's resource usage, offering insights into the performance of the CPU, disk, memory, and network. Under the Performance Overview section, this data can provide you with information to look for performance bottlenecks like high CPU usage, low available memory, or high disk queue length. You can also use the built-in diagnostic tool to check the computer's health reports. Press Windows plus I to open the settings app. Type device performance and health in the search bar. The suggestion will pop up and you can just click it. This will provide you the latest health report on your storage capacity. Quick checks if your device is running out of storage and displays warnings or suggestions if free disk space is currently low. Apps and software will also detect outdated apps or software causing potential performance issues. It will flag programs requiring updates or attention. And lastly, the Windows time service ensures your system clock is synchronized. It identifies potential issues with time settings which could affect software functionality or security.